Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Monique Macrin. If you're new here, Karibu Sana. And thank you so much, guys, <laughs> for your continued support. So, um, I hope. I hope you've already watched uh, the video that I did on things to expect when you stop breastfeeding. And if you haven't watched, please just pause, go back, watch that video, and then you come and watch this video. It's going to help you understand some of the things that I'm going to discuss in this particular video. Now, let, eesh, let's jump right into it. We are going to start with the first one, pain. Pain and a burning sensation. Um, now let me tell you um the best way to stop breastfeeding is to do it gradually okay so let's say let's say for example you're breastfeeding your baby three times in a day maybe you're expressing in the morning then you breastfeed them uh, during lunch time and then at night they are going to breastfeed several times then it's important that you start reducing the number of times that you're breastfeeding okay you can even start by reducing maybe if you're breastfeeding four times uh, cut that to two times for one week after one week reduce that to one time and then in the third week you're going to now completely stop breastfeeding when you do it gradually what you're doing is that you're signaling you are sending a uh, signals to your mind telling them that yo uh, the demand for this milk has been lowered and if the demand has been lowered then that means you're going to supply less okay so if let's say your body was supplying you with two liters of milk every three hours then you'll have signaled this mind that the demand is not as high so instead of us producing two liters let us produce one liter and when you have less milk being produced then it is going to hurt less and this also goes to engorgement okay so once you do you go through a gradual journey then you're not going to experience the pain the pain you're not going to experience the burning sensation now let's come to dealing with engorged breasts now this is usually ish oh. yes now one thing you can do to uh, deal with the engorged breast is number one avoid wearing bras that are fitting avoid wearing bras that have a, me a metal down here you see those the ones that helps to lift your boobs they usually have a metal down there so avoid bras that are um have a metal down there also avoid bras that are very tight because once they are tight they are going to compress and that engorgement is that engorged that the process of engorgement is going to be how do i put is going to be catalyzed if you're wearing a tight fitting bra the next thing you can do is take a cabbage put it in the fridge and then put it in your bra inside your bra now there's something in cabbage that really helps in reducing engorgement and pain in the breast now you're not going to find a lot of scientific evidence if you google this but it has worked for so many women it has worked for so many women and sometimes yes we usually consult the books but also there's a school of life yes so now to deal with your pain to deal with your engorgement ensure that this process is very gradual also ensure that you uh, put out a cabbage leaf in the fridge and use it put it in the bra make sure that the bra that you're wearing is not tight fitting and it does not have metal fittings underneath and then the next thing we come to a uh, depression the post Freedy. Uh, it's supposed to be called post lactation uh, depression now the only way you can deal with this depression is just acknowledging it uh, and knowing why it's happening when you know why something is happening to you then you're able to deal with it more gently right um then you can talk to someone have a support system that is going either to be your spouse your sisters or your friends share with them what you're feeling at that particular time also you know try to do things that really makes you happy okay and i am very big on exercises if you try to exercise for at least 20 to 30 minutes in a day then that is going to increase the production of endorphin hormones and endorphins are going to counter the effects of the lowered oxytocin uh when it comes to mom guilt now i am going to tell you something this is more of an affirmation it is okay to be selfish if you stopped uh, breastfeeding your baby for reasons that might be deemed as selfish to the society, then just know it's okay. It's okay. You can choose whatever you want to do. It is your body. It is your child. So when you know that, then probably the mom guilt is going to be less. And also, I want to affirm you by telling you that even if you stop breastfeeding that child, 
she or he is still going to know that you are the best mother in this world okay and when you know that i hope that it's going to make the mom guilt feel less for you um then let's talk about um the other point was the breasts are going to be full they're going to be packy for up to two or three weeks now this is not a bad thing this is actually a good thing this is the time that you wear all the curls the short cleavage and flaunt it because <laughs> After the four months, after the three weeks or one month, your soldiers are going to fall. Now, let me take this opportunity to introduce yet another season of this series. Now, is that making sense? Let, let me take this chance to introduce the next video. And that is going to talk about how to reduce the level with which, the level in which your breasts are going to, oh my God. Of, I live in an apartment and we have uh, a lot of children and they're making noise. Please bear with me. So um, I'm saying let, let me take this chance to introduce the next video in which I'm going to tell you tips that you can use to reduce the level at with which your breasts are going to fall after stopping breastfeeding. Because let me tell you, your breasts do not have to fall like too much after you stop breastfeeding. There are things that you can be able to do and I'm going to share them in the next video that is going to drop tomorrow after um, yeah that's it for this video i hope that you enjoyed and please do subscribe like and share this video until next time